The fallout from Ecuador's raid on the Mexican embassy to extract a former Ecuadorian vice president who'd been granted asylum is escalating sharply. For once, every government in the Americas, from the far left to the far right, has condemned what is widely regarded as a violation of Mexico's sovereignty and the right to asylum. Embassies are regarded as foreign soil, according to the 1960 Vienna Convention. Mexico's president thanked the international community for its support as he criticized Ecuador. It was incredible. Not even Pinochet and other authoritarian leaders had dared to go so far. We're taking this side affair before the International Court of Justice. Even with Latin American countries breaking ties with Ecuador or recalling their ambassadors, Ecuador remains unrepentant. Mexico violated the principles of non-intervention in other states. It is illicit to grant asylum to people who have been sentenced or accused of common crimes. Ecuador's president also weighed in for the first time, saying that justice cannot be negotiated. It's an irony that Ecuador was willing to grant asylum to Australian whistleblower Julian Assange, who remained in the Ecuadorian consulate in London for seven years. The former vice president, though, Jorge Glass, had been sentenced to eight years in prison for corruption when he sought asylum in the Mexican embassy, where he was grabbed by special forces police. Now his lawyer says she fears for his life. This is a kidnapping and we believe that at any moment they can kill him. Whether Glass is a common criminal or not, both the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, as well as all 35 members of the Organization of American States, will hold emergency meetings in the next two days to discuss a violation of international law that all except Ecuador insist cannot be repeated. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.